back with another Apple Store vlog. So today we're going to the Apple Store to get a new MacBook. I am so excited. Last time I bought a MacBook was in 2019 when I got my current MacBook, which is this one. This is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. I think 15 inch is a perfect mix between like the 16 and 13 inch. I feel like the 13 is way too small, but also the 16. Like it just looks a lot bigger, even though it's just one inch bigger than this one. But now we're gonna get a MacBook Air, but I don't know which one actually we're gonna get. I don't even know which ones are on the market right now. Like I really haven't been keeping up with MacBooks because I feel like once you get a MacBook, like you really don't need to look at the new MacBooks that come out for a few years because a MacBook lasts you for like so many years. I do upgrade my iPhone every year even though like i definitely don't need you like you could definitely stick with an iphone for a couple of years as well but i do feel like if you have a five-year-old iphone in 2024 which would be 10 like that would definitely be considered kind of outdated in 2024 like if you compare the iphone x's to the iphone 15 it's so different but if you compare the 2019 macbooks to the macbooks in 2024 i feel like it's not as much of a gap um as the iphone all right but let's see what macbooks we can choose from my puppy is here speaking hey do you want to say something Okay, so these are the MacBook Airs we can choose from, I think. Okay, so we have a 15 inch. That's really good. And we also have a 13 inch with an M2 chip and a 13 inch with an M3 chip. Like my initial thought is definitely the 15 inch just because of the screen size. Like I think this, like you can't get more perfect screen size than the 15 inch. However, like if you are gonna be carrying it around every single day, 13 inch would probably be more comfortable. Also the price difference isn't too bad, honestly, but if you want the M3 chip, you only have to pay hundred dollars more and if you want to have the 15 inch you only have to pay two hundred dollars more than the 13 inch so honestly it's not as bad as i expected so you can get it in midnight starlight space gray and silver okay we're gonna check out all the colors later at the apple store okay so then actually if you want to get more storage than 256 gigabyte you have to pay a lot more like this one is 1500 for 512 gigabyte and this one is 1700 you can get it in one terabyte or two terabytes but it's obviously going to be a lot more expensive. From what I understand, basically the difference between the M2 chip and the M3 chip is you just get better performance with M3 chip. So like you have a faster neural engine, but really easily explained. I think it's just if you have like really graphics heavy tasks like video editing, like when handling video files, you really want the process to be super smooth and you don't want the video footage to like lag. So I guess kind of like the iPad Air and iPad Pro, like if you want to get it for professional use, definitely get the ipad pro but if you're a student just gonna use it for like taking notes you could definitely go for the ipad air or the normal ipad i think it's the same with the macbooks i'm really in love with this color this is the starlight so i really want to check this out at the apple store to see if it actually looks this good in reality as well okay guys so i just wanted to do a little bit of research first but now let's head to the apple store to actually check out the macbooks and and see which one to get. By the way, if you're looking for a great everyday perfume and you're into like vanilla scents, this one by Ariana Grande is, is a mod vanilla perfume. It's so good. I'm not usually a fan of the Victoria's Secret like vanilla scents like this one. Like, um, I think it smells too much vanilla but this one it has like a natural vanilla scent it's like sweet but not too much all 
Alright, so they had all the MacBooks on this table at the Apple store so you could kind of compare all the models, sizes, and colors. So they all look pretty similar, like the MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs have a very similar design. The only difference is thickness. So the MacBook Air is a lot thinner than the MacBook Pro, which also makes it a lot lighter. And the only thing I've been struggling with with my MacBook Pro is taking it with me, like I avoid taking it with me outside my home at all costs because it is so heavy and so big to have in my bag. My shoulder hurts after carrying it for 10 minutes. The MacBook Air, I could immediately feel it's so much lighter. Both the 15 inch, but especially the 13 inch, it is actually so lightweight and I really think it makes a difference when you take it with you, for example, to school. So the difference in weight between the MacBook Air 13 and 15 inch is not a lot but you can definitely feel it so the macbook air 15 inch is 3.3 pounds which is 1.5 kilograms and then the macbook air 13 inch is 2.7 pounds which is 1.24 kilograms so it's really not a big difference but if you're carrying it in your backpack every day or even in a shoulder bag like you're definitely gonna feel it so i think if you're able to work with a smaller screen, the MacBook Air 13 inch is definitely the most convenient. So I would definitely say the MacBook Pro is more for having at home and the MacBook Air for being on the go. But then I started comparing the colors of the MacBook Air and this is the midnight. Honestly, I didn't even realize this was like a blue color. I thought it was gonna be space black, but they just named it midnight. It is almost like a space black, but with a little bit of a blue tone, which is why it's called midnight. But yeah, as you can see, like it's some light it just looks like a really dark gray or kind of black but then it definitely has a little bit of a blue tone like it's definitely more of a cooler tone like compared to the macbook pro this is an actual space black macbook pro but honestly i don't think it matters it's still a really nice color i just didn't expect it to be a little bit blue and then this is the starlight macbook air and it is a really nice color however the lighting in the apple store really doesn't do it justice because the lighting is kind of yellow you can definitely tell it's like a gold a really light gold color you could almost not see any difference from the silver macbook air like the silver also looked almost identical to this one it's just a little bit of a cooler tone like here's a side-by-side -side comparison you can definitely see the difference but honestly when looking at it in real life like i could barely tell a difference i don't know which one i prefer actually i was more in love with the starlight on the apple website but here in the store i kind of think the silver looked better uh but let me know which one you prefer yeah and then here to the left you can see the space gray macbook air this was also a really nice color this is what the keyboard looks like on the macbook air i mean this design really hasn't changed for the macbooks in so many years but then when we were deciding what color to get one of the apple store workers actually gave a really important point that on the midnight macbook air you can see fingerprints so easily like i tried this out in the apple store and i had washed my hands before but even though like you could still see my fingerprints and you can also see like the fingerprints from other people which didn't look very nice and then compared to the starlight you couldn't see anything at all like the fingerprints were invisible and it was the same thing for the silver although the silver kind of showed fingerprints a little bit more so i would say if you don't want fingerprints to show you should definitely go for the starlight and then we were looking for some cases the apple store really didn't have a lot they had this like hard case from tech 21 which i really like it was a really nice clear case but i think we wanted more of a soft case so we found this one at another store. 
All right, so it's a few days later and we actually ended up not getting a MacBook because we weren't sure about the color. Like we have four colors to pick between and, and I think we're definitely choosing between the darkest color or the starlight. The girl that helped us in the Apple store said, just be aware the fingerprints are gonna show a lot on that MacBook. Like on this, you can definitely kind of see a little bit, but actually it doesn't show fingerprints too much. But on that one, since it was like a really dark color, you could definitely see like every single fingerprint. So then she said she has the Starlight MacBook. I tried making fingerprints on that one and you couldn't see anything at all. So I feel like that would be really practical, not having to wipe it all the time and i mean i feel like we have to be realistic even if we wash our hands it is gonna get fingerprints but we're going back to the apple store to make our choice and actually purchase a macbook so yeah i thought it would take you with me once again okay so this time we went back to the apple store the whole family or almost the whole family to decide what macbook to actually get and this time we actually started comparing the different sizes of the macbook air so the 13 and 15 inch i just assumed we were gonna get the 15 inch but honestly we realized when typing a little bit on the macbooks the 13 inch was actually a lot more comfortable because you didn't have all this extra space around the actual keys and honestly the screen didn't feel too small on the 13 inch we were comparing it to the ipad pro 12.9 inch and honestly they looked almost the same size it seemed like they were exactly the same height but the macbook is a little bit longer but yeah so that actually got us thinking maybe we should get an ipad pro instead of a macbook because the perk of getting an iPad instead of a MacBook for studying is you can actually take handwritten notes with the Apple Pencil, which is something you can't do on the MacBook. So yeah, we were trying that out for a while. Here's a little secret message for anyone who understands Swedish. But yeah, with the iPad, you can take really cool handwritten notes like this one, which is a really like interactive way of studying instead of just typing text on a keyboard. But also, if you do want to type with a keyboard, the keyboard on the iPad really doesn't have the same feeling as the MacBook. It's a lot more plasticky. You probably know what I mean, typing with the iPad keyboard. At least I don't find it as comfortable and convenient as the MacBook keyboard. It's just not the same feeling, but let me know what you prefer. Honestly, I feel like they should make a combined iPad and MacBook so you have a better keyboard for the iPad, but you can also use an Apple Pencil for the MacBook. But yes, yeah, so and then it was finally time to make a decision on which one to buy. And these were the three devices we were deciding between. So the MacBook Air 15 inch, the MacBook Air 13 inch, and the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. And we ultimately decided on... So we got the MacBook and I'm gonna show you which one in a second because we ended up getting one that we didn't think we would end up getting but I'm just laughing at myself because I'm literally walking in the door with a bunch of sheen bags and then an apple bag like total opposite yeah uh, you gotta find a good balance right all right so the MacBook we ended up getting was drum roll wait let me try it the MacBook Air 13 inch in Midnight. So we got the darkest color. And I just realized this color is called Midnight. I thought it was called something like Space Black. It makes sense that it kind of has a little bluish shade, but it is a really, really nice color. I don't know if you can tell from this picture, but you can definitely see it has like a little bit of a blue tinge. But honestly, like last time I went to the Apple store, I thought the Starlight one looked really good. 
but this time once i saw it i was like this does not look as good as i remember like it's still a really nice color so the reason we ended up getting the 13 inch was as i said i currently have the 15 inch which is like a perfect size i think but for students and for like bringing it with you taking it with you to lectures and just walking around with a lot the 13 inch is so much more convenient and i mean it still has like a really nice screen size i don't think it feels too small so yeah that was just a simple reason we decided to go with the 13 inch and also we actually got a little bit stuck deciding between the ipad pro and the macbook air because the screen size was similar between the 13 inch macbook air and the 12.9 inch ipad pro i feel like they're both kind of made for portability like you can fit both in your backpack or just in your bag i think they're pretty similar in weight but a macbook just has another like feeling than an ipad and obviously if you want to take like handwritten notes the ipad is going to be a better choice like that is probably the only thing i'm missing from this macbook but if you do want to get an ipad for just taking quick little handwritten notes get the ipad 9th gen this is like the best ipad this was like 200 dollars, and i have a full review on it if you want to check it out i'll link it in the description so you can get it kind of in addition to the MacBook because I feel like having a MacBook is just more convenient than an iPad. The keyboard just feels a lot more durable and easy to write on, but I guess it's just what you personally prefer. So yeah, I'm so excited to unbox it, but I think I'm going to make a separate unboxing because I do want to talk a little bit more in detail about this MacBook and I don't know if you guys want to hear it in this vlog. This was more like a fun little shopping vlog, but yeah, I think the unboxing is gonna be out in like two days or something after i post this video yeah, definitely stay tuned and thank you so much for watching i will see you next time